Hi everyone, Mike here from Point Views. Today I'm going to be introducing you to the Space Creator toolset that we have within the software and giving you a very high level overview of the steps involved in converting your point cloud into an LOD 200 BIM model. So what are we going to need before we start? We're going to need a point cloud and we're going to need a license of Point Views powered by Jetstream Pro. And I'll put a link in the description if you need to get hold of a trial so you can check that out. What we're not going to need, we're not going to need any expert knowledge in CAD or BIM modeling. And we're also not going to need any expert knowledge in using point view software either. It's all going to be pretty easy to do. So with that, let's make a start. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new project. And for now, we're just going to check the point cloud option. We're going to choose a save location for our project and then navigate to the point cloud file. So I'm going to use the LGS because we're able to view and mesh that natively. And we can pretty much instantaneously view that point cloud within the 3D view here. Here we can get a feel for what the point cloud looks like. We're going to be using a two-story blk to go data set in this example. So the next thing to do is just go into that workflow selection, choose that space management option because we're producing those BIM models. And then this is going to bundle together all of the steps of the process into one automatic step. So we don't need any prior knowledge of the software at this point. All you need to know is the scanner type that was used to capture the point cloud and the level of detail. Uh, so we're using the blk to go it's only one setting. So we're going to select this and move on to the next stage. Here, what we need to do is to find the structure of the building. So add a story one and a story two for our two story building here. The layers down the bottom are created automatically, so we don't have to touch those. Then this final screen just lets us know what we need to do as our next step, which is classify the walls, windows and doors. So we're going to press go, give it a couple of minutes, come back and our mesh model will have been created with the large surfaces automatically classified. All we need to do now is just validate that auto classification and just move things around a bit within the IFC structure. So bringing the walls into the wall layers, classifying the ceilings and floors, then going in and grouping together all of those windows and door objects that we can see within the point cloud. If I skip through to the end here, it only took me about five minutes or so. You can see our basic classification has been complete. So the next step is to create the BIM model. The only setting we have here is to choose the unit and then this stage runs completely automatically. And so what's produced is the first pass at this automatic BIM model. It's not perfect, so we're going to need to make some edits. And for that, we've got some very simple tools that don't require any prior CAD or BIM expertise. And you can access those via the right click menu or get into them across the ribbon. So the first stage here is to just enclose all the rooms and finalize all the wall positions. So in this example, it's got a glass wall there, it wasn't much data. We just need to generate a wall across that segment. Once we've done that, we're going to use the Make Square tool, square up all of those angles to 90 degrees. And then finally, we're going to identify the rooms. So identifying all the enclosed spaces, and it's just going to shift all the wall orientations so that we've finished our 2D geometry. And then the final thing before moving on to 3D, we're just going to quickly classify all of those rooms into the IPMS standards for offices. So defining workspace, circulation areas, vertical penetrations, and so on. The last thing we do now is flip to the 3D model, uh, make the BIM model a bit transparent so that we can see the mesh model through it, and just look at the heights of those walls and the positions of those doors and windows, so where it's been placed automatically or whether we need to adjust those sizes, or we can pretty easily add door and windows into any wall. Once that's done, that's everything complete, we can move on to the export. In 2D, we can create PDF building reports and 2D DXF files to create standardized uh, reports and floor plans. Alternatively, we can use the IFC file to export the 3D, and this is our LOD 200 BIM model in Revit, ready to go. And so that is Space Creator in a nutshell. It's a tool designed to help you make the most out of your blk to go point clouds and achieve professional results in a fraction of the time, especially when compared to traditional methods. And in a workflow that's pretty, pretty easy for anyone to pick up and run with. So thanks for listening and I will speak to you next time.